This is the fourth episode of the Korg SQ1 tutorial series and this episode will be mainly devoted to Tempo and Duty. So let's start uh, with the basics. I have the SQ1 here on the right hand side of the screen and it's controlling the Turia microbrute using uh, MIDI and not uh, CV gate. This is because I want to talk a little bit about MIDI clock, which is connected, something connected to Tempo. So, as you can see, I have the LFO uh, synced to the sequence of the microbrute, and if I can turn the sequence uh, faster or slower, and this is the internal clock of the microbrute. But now, if I turn the SQ1 on, you will notice that the lights on the microboot started blinking at a different pace. This is because uh, the SQ1 is sending MIDI clock to the Arturia microboot, and uh, you can dial in the tempo or the BPM using the speed knob. So if I turn it, all the way to the left, I'll get about 40 BPM. And uh, then if I turn it all the way to the right, uh, it increases the tempo up to about 240 BPM. Now let's turn this more or less half speed. So as you can see, the SQ1 outputs MIDI clock uh, via the MIDI DIN uh, output, but also via the USB MIDI uh, interface that is built in. Now, regarding duty, I'll start by playing a sequencer. This is just an octave, uh, an alternating octave. And um, duty is the, the fraction of the step that a, pl a note plays on. So I have this at about half width, so it means it play the note plays during half the time of its step. And uh, if I now start moving the duty knob, I can decrease this amount by to almost 0%, so almost clicking or I can put it to 100% and in this case the SQ1 basically is playing uh, in legato modes uh, to the um, Arturian microboot. Uh, it is very useful to have uh, legato modes because the Arturian microboot has a glide uh, setting and uh, I can use this to have kind of a slide. As you know, slide is not something that is easily done in MIDI, and the best way to do it is either via the glide, or some synthesizers also have an automatic portamento when I do the legato modes. Uh, plus, in a future episode, we'll see how easy it is to have slide when you're using the CV gate output. Now, regarding the limitations of the device, you can see that the, you can send clock and you can have it as a master clock for your setup, but uh, uh, you cannot dial a precise BPM using the speed knob. And this is actually quite a big limitation on the SQ1. Fortunately, I have the Korg Volca base here with me. And uh, if I plug a sync cable from the output sync of the Volca base to the input sync of the SQ1, you will notice that not only the clock of the SQ1 starts playing in time to the tempo of the Volca base, it also converts that sync signal into clock uh, MIDI clock signals that go through the MIDI output, either via the MIDI DIN or via USB. And as you can see, I can put a very slow tempo of 10 BPM on the vocal bass, or I can dial 600 BPM and it works fine this way. So this is more or less what I do. I have the vocal bass 
synced syncing the SQ1 and acting as a master clock and then the SQ1 will deliver the MIDI clock and also some sequencer data to other machinery. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and of course uh, enjoy your sequencing. See you next time.